everybody, even Steven here. Today we're here to look at some gameplay for the game Jam Sumo. In Jam Sumo, there are two rounds of the game. You are looking to, in the first game, Jam, try to make it through the hole here on the board so you do not get points. Any points you do get on the board are negative. And then the second game is Sumo, in which you want your die to be on the board, which will reward you points at the end of the game. You will compare your negative to your positive score, and whoever gets the most points is the winner. Let's take a look. Okay, let's get to the gameplay jam sumo. So the, I'm going to set up a two-player game here. So remember in this version, you want to get it through that hole so you do not get points. Any points at the end of the game that are on the board are worth points. Now I could choose to put another three up here and flick. All of your dice have to be on three. Or I might choose this because this is worth a six, so it's worth a lot of points. And this player might do the same here, so they'll get it through there. Clear the bottom of the board here. Keep going. This game really requires a lot of skill to get it through there, more than you would think at least. And I think it provides a similar feel to Tumbling Dice, if you've heard of that dexterity game. But it's fun, you can actually try to shoot and block the other players, knock them out of the way, bank off their shots like that right there. And you just keep flicking back and forth, flicking either one on the board or one from your new spot. And you keep doing that until someone gets all of their die through the middle. Whoever does that, you add up the points. So red would get five points here and black would have zero. And then you go to round two. So on round two, you do the same thing, except you start in the sumo ring. And your die must leave the ring and in this round, remember, you want your die to stay on the board. So for your opponents, you're trying to knock you off the board. The opposing player, or the next player, must hit a die when they flick, or else it is removed from the board and worth zero points. So for instance, if this black player flipped that, it would just be taken off the board and is worth nothing. And then the red would flick another one. Now he probably wants to keep this a four because it's worth a decent amount of points. Then he might flick that over there for a five. So then the black player is trying to target red's die, and hopefully flick them off of the board, which is harder to do. Likewise, the red player might try to spread out their dice, so that way the black player has a lot to hit. Now the black player could also try to hit the red dice into that hole there, which would remove it from the board as well. You keep doing this until everyone has flicked all six of their dice, and whoever has the most points will add those to their total, and then you'll combine those between the number of rounds that you choose to play, Usually you do two rounds of jam and two rounds of sumo, and whoever has the most points is the winner. Okay everybody, that was my gameplay video of Jam Sumo. If you're interested in this game, go to Board Game Geek, look up Jam Sumo. I actually ordered it over from England from Gavin Burbaum. You'll email him, and he can actually make this by hand. It's very high quality, and I think it's a really fun game. So check it out if you're interested for more. We'll see you next time.